hear ye, hear ye. Hello and welcome to Last Week, Right Now, with me, Mick Riggers. We're going to be giving you an in-depth look of last week's news. Snow savaged Britain last week as temperatures plummeted. With most transport failing and shops left with empty shelves, the question is, what will we do when this gets worse? Well, we could build a bigger snowman because we didn't get it very large. Climate change is coming and we are not ready for this new trend of extreme weather. Theresa May is also not ready for Brexit, as she made clear in a speech. It was heralded as a success in that it managed to not upset either Remainer or Brexiteer within the Conservative Party. It was filled with contradictions and nonsense, but at least she didn't add any names to the vote of no confidence. Following from last week's Right Here, Right Now on fake news, evidence has been released of foreign interference into the 2016 US presidential election. This organisation brags it has psychological profiles of 220 million US citizens. It worked through targeted advertising to help elect Trump. The company's name is Cambridge Analytica, and it is based in the UK. Trump has had a rough week as his son-in-law, Jared Kushner's security clearance, was dropped. Jared Kushner is now under investigation. Hope Hicks, someone who Trump has described as like a daughter, quit the White House. And Trump claimed he would run into a school to stop a shooter with or without a gun. I'll let you come to your own conclusion. Flint, Michigan is in a state of emergency due to high levels of lead contaminating drinking water. The problem has worsened since it was first discovered in April 2014, almost four years on and nothing has been done. Putin announced a new supersonic nuclear missile that could outrun any NATO defence in what is sure to be a response to NATO forces still stationed around Russia's borders in preparation for war. Because the more troops you have, the less likely there is to be a war, right? The Italian election produced a hung parliament with the biggest winner being the right-wing alliance made up of conservatives, nationalists and fascists, marking more support for the far-right parties. The biggest winner as an individual party was the anti-establishment Five Star Movement, it seems unlikely this party will strike a deal with the right-wing alliance. Thank you for listening. I've been Mick Riggers, and that was Last Week, Right Now. We'll be back again next week. Uh, please, if you enjoyed the video, like, subscribe, and share. And don't forget, right here, right now, we'll be back at the end of the month.